Good morning, crafting friends. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to the Creative Escape. So this morning's layout idea was I, I kind of made a Christmas card using this layout and I really enjoyed it. And I thought, oh, this I think could be used in multiple ways, not just for Christmas cards, but on other designs as well. So I'm excited to share it with you today. Make sure when you pop on this morning, tell me where you're from and tell me about your weekend. We always like to chit chat back and forth here, share ideas. There's always such lovely ladies on here. So if you're looking for friends, this is the place to be. Um, I don't know about your weather, but it is Manitoba kind of cold here. Holy moly. I think it's minus 30 something here with the wind chill this morning. I haven't felt that in a long, well, two years, I guess, since I w lived in Manitoba. I'm now in Alberta here. Um, but yes, the poor puppies. <laughs> I think it's the hardest thing of their day, having to go outside and pee in, you know, <laughs> minus gazillion. Ooh. And we're thinking about you, Amy, as we start, as you start your new job today. I know you were really stressed out about having to go on the bus this morning in the cold. So, oh. We wish you the best, best day at your first uh, first day at work today. So we're thinking about you because I know we'll miss you here this morning. Hi, Roz. Nice to see you. How was your weekend, Roz? Mine, we went to Calgary and we found another keto restaurant that we enjoyed. And um, of course, went back to the first restaurant to um, get some more lean backs, which are kind of like these eclair kind of things they've got kind of a, a nice light dough around some cream cheesy kind of filling and oh delightful and they're only one and a half carbs <laughs> you need a trip to visit us yes i do it's beautiful spring lake here the pups can come too oh yeah that would be fun right oh Someday we'll have to get together, I tell you. It would be such a blast. Someday, someday, we gotta do this. Um, okay, you're the only one on here this morning so far. Yeah, good luck, Amy. I'm, I'm excited to hear all about her day. So, okay, so here we are. I'll show you the card. It was good. Gary and I had, the, oh, that's right, you guys had the flu. <laughs> Your little grandbabies were over. Look, no wonder you have the flu. They probably pooped you out, hey? <laughs> All right, so I am going to switch the screen here. I should have had this ready before, but I didn't. Here we go. Hi, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello to you, too. Happy Monday to you. All right, so this was the card that you may have seen, may have not, but I kind of like this fun little layout. And so, of course, what I used was the layering circles dies um, to create this. So the layering circles dies are kind of fun because they actually have um, solid circles and then they have these scalloped edges that kind of go a little bit farther outside of the circle so it, it kind of makes for example see this little little scallop around the circle outside the circle there so it's kind of fun that way I just remembered oh Gary brought the germs home did he <laughs> those pesky germs I have never been so much healthier than I have since I quit teaching I tell you I <laughs> I was sick, oh man, especially when I was in grade one, two. Oh, I was sick all the time. It was horrible. Quit teaching, I've been so healthy, I tell you, it's wonderful. Kids are, kids are a little germy and uh, aren't, you know, all over the, you know, covering their mouth and washing their hands and so yes. Hello, Kathy, welcome. Glad you're checking in for a bit. That's awesome. Come and go as you please. That's all good. 
I forgot to start start with um, first off if anybody from Canmore is watching I'm going to be starting this year a crafternoon and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a bakery or a, a place in town and we're gonna make a cough or a card and you just buy a drink and so five dollars for a card and you buy a drink and we're gonna sit and have some fun and uh, make a beautiful card that's going to get sent off to brighten someone's day which is always wonderful so that's today at JK bakery at 2 p.m. also coming up the last day to register for the painted poppies class is this Friday I believe the 17th so if you haven't signed up for that I we I've got one Canadian I'm so excited Maria go Maria <laughs> I need I want some more I want some more people so uh, from Canada I know there's tons of US gals that are gonna join us which I'm so excited about but come on Canadians I need some more so these are the the stamp sets and dies that I'm going to be using for the class gorgeous I it's it's a gooder I promise all right so join up by the 17th and uh, so you don't miss out Okay, back to our card. I still work with under three crowd these days. Not as bad as when I had a classroom because we have rules about no therapy. Is anyone is sick? Not all parents are honest though, right? <laughs> yes, I found that at school too. We had to send many children home, back home because you know, we're kind of day, when you're in a school setting, it's kind of like your daycare, right? And so I realize that it's hard, but um, yeah, stay home, stay home. We all don't want it. Um, oh, st hubby's still in ICU. Has he seen any improvement? He was, he was, you know, any little improvement I think is exciting. And we're continuing to pray for him. That's, that's uh, a must for sure. How are you handling things, Kathy? <laughs> I know, I know you're, it's tough for your husband, but it would definitely be tough for you too. So Canadians don't let their Americans outnumber you, right? Come on! <laughs> As all the Americans are watching. <laughs> okay. Keep us in the loop there, Kathy. All right. So there again, there's our card example. So here we go. Um, I've actually put the measurements in the um, description in the uh, Facebook Live. I go to the families at their homes. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fun. Wow. Good for you. Huh. That's a, that sounds like a neat program. Okay. So, if you're wondering what the measurements are, I'm going to, um, like I said, they're in the comments so that you can have them. Now I dug out some different paper that I haven't used yet. Real, I actually, that's, the, that's a lie. I used it on the flap card last week with that the little meerkat. So I used the, some of the um, pineapples. But this time I flipped it over and I flipped through and I decided to use some of this uh, timeless tropical paper, which I think is kind of fun. Hi, Sonia, nice to see you, good morning. Hope your Monday is going well. Yeah, are you working today, Lisa? You sneaking in? <laughs> All right, so my card base is pear pizzazz, measuring at eight and a half by five and a half, and I fold it in half like a little book. Then my first layer, as you can see, I've cut out a layer out of it. It is measuring at five and a quarter by four. And then I have another, that's soft suede, and then I have another layer that's gonna go over top, which is pretty peacock, and it was measuring at five and three and three, five by three and three quarters. I run it through the, is it corrugated? A little, but not much improvement. It's hard, but I'm hanging in there. It's nice to have my Stampin' Up! friends to take my mind off things for a while. Awesome. Yes, I find our Stampin' Up! friends are some of the, I'm tearing up, some of the best people um, for definitely being there when you're going through rough times. And uh, so, yes, 
lean on us if you need us for sure because we're we're here for you we don't we have a don't ask policy about that oh <laughs> about your are you at work <laughs> thank you Sonia for sharing this video that's th that's awesome of you thank you um, and Sue Thomas good morning hope you hope your Monday morning is going well too all right so run it through the corrugated um, embossing folder now I cut out some circles so the largest circle is measuring at two and three eighths um, and look at that little those little uh, palm trees I'm losing my words today we all have so much in common no wonder we're all we all bond so well right it's so true that's so true and then the second smallest or second largest I should say is this size which is measuring at two and one eighth which is the fifth smallest circle die then I have here we are the next smallest which is one and seven eighths across which is the fourth smallest and then I have this little piece which is the the second smallest in the in the frame of a frame lit flaring circle size and it measures one and three eighths and then I have a scalloped layer here that's the fifth smallest fifth in the order <laughs> oh oh my goodness people popped on all right hi Teresa good morning Jennifer good morning and thank you for sharing that's awesome Mary Ellen good morning karma hello oh I'm your Monday fix oh goodness <laughs> I can text you an absence excuse. <laughs> Silly. Okay. Let's start a set. Oh, you know what? I forgot to grab some thread. We have this new um, braided burlap trim, which is kind of cool. And I thought it would go nicely with this set. I just forgot it in the box. Okay. Let's start assembling. So, as you can see, I since this layer is getting covered up, um, I cut out this scalloped piece from it. Might as well, because it's not being used for anything. Hi, Martine! So, there we go. That's why it's got a big hole in it. Getting out my snail tape. And let's place this on our pear pizzazz layer. So, this is the soft suede. Now, because this is so bumpy, I don't want to use snail because it's not going to stick so well. Oh, this piece I hate is driving me nuts. All right, so you could use liquid glue or what I'm going to use today is the tear and tape. Just goes super quick. Give it a little rub. And I'll throw one in the middle too. There. A little bit of a rub helps you be able to pull it off. There we go. Whoops. Okay, and because it's run through the corrugated um, embossing folder, I see that it's kind of shrunk a little. Do you see that? So the layer, the layer should have been kind of equal going down, but that's okay. We'll just kind of place it closer to the top and be done with it. <laughs> okay, first step is to attach our largest circle. Now, because it's corrugated, I wasn't thinking about oh, I wasn't thinking about this. So I'm going to actually use some tear and tape on it as well. Tear and tape is going to get a workout this morning, unlike its own. Uh, I, as a lot of you know, I'm involved in this best weight program and um, I've now been accepted into this other program, active living program, which I now have to go exercise Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday um, at the hospital for eight to 12 weeks. 
goody goody goody. <laughs> Ugh, I just I hate exercise. I hate it. And then and then the lady who you know instructs it loves exercise. I'm like you know what? It's like if you know your mom told you to play the piano every single day for you know at least 30 minutes and you absolutely hated it you'd rather go to the dentist you'd rather do anything but practice that piano that's what it's like for me anyways she didn't really care she doesn't, she doesn't get it <laughs> hello angie good morning who remembers when we ran cardstock through those things we cranked instead of embossing folders oh i i never i don't know okay so top left for the biggest one the uh, oh, which one would this be the fourth smallest one is this one isn't this paper cute put that one there with that beautiful oh what's that called bird um my brain's dead today Okay, and then I saw this little car. I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. So I'm going to place the fifth smallest circle onto the scalloped circle. That I can do onto, or I can use snail, like so. And I want to pop it up. I wish you used to go there. I do have dimensionals. Let's go with three. Oh, you know what I forgot? The, ta the, the thread that I went over to get. <laughs> okay, so check out this burlap trim. It's so kind of cool. It's very wide. Crimpers. Ab really? Crimpers? Wow. So I like this. You're allergic to exercise too. Amen. High five. <laughs> Hello, Janet. Oh, I know. Freezing here today, isn't it? Oh, but you're probably way worse than we are. Oof. So you can kind of pull it apart and it just kind of, you know, makes kind of a fun little edge. So I'm just going to lay that over top like so. Um, I think I'm going to use my tear and tape for that too. Working through it. Then it will become a habit to reward yourself with something. Money. I know. I, I want to reward myself with like a cinnamon bun. <laughs> oh. I, you know, I used to go to the gym. I, was, I would go every morning, 5.30. I went for like three years. And I would often go back in the day t or in the evening too. Just to kind of. So, I, I mean, I was crazy with the exercise, but man, it was, I, and I didn't lose a whole lot of weight or anything, but I was fit and I um, felt like I felt good. My body looked better. It was much more toned and um, I loved step aerobics. I loved it, loved it. But of course my knees decided to require knee surgery and that was the end of that. So I still can't can't quite trust my knees yet okay so I've placed that over top school bus canceled because it was minus 43 yikes wow makes great shirts for men's cards did you see those on the demonstrator planning I think it was the demonstrator planning place I thought oh my goodness those that's brilliant yes the coolest little origami t-shirts with this fun paper oh loved it Okay, so the smallest one, I'm going to actually use a, um, I'm going to stamp with a saying. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm doing thank you from the, I'm going to guess it's Tropical Oasis. Timeless Tropical. I keep wanting to say Tropical Oasis. It's not Tropical Oasis. Now I'm wondering if pretty peacock would be bold enough I don't know I don't think so so I'll just get out my memento black and we'll just go with that so it's got a nice little thank you I like the font from this set too I should probably get it out so you can see it isn't that nice so there's these little stamps thank you hello rest and or rest and relax you deserve it 
May your birthday be memorable. Our friendship is timeless. I like it. And look at those beautiful um, hibiscus. I'm not sure what kind of plant, plant that is. And the leaves, and we'll use the palm trees for the inside. And of course that little pineapple. <laughs> Very tropical. Very tropical indeed. Okay, let's see. Okay, thank you. I thought this would be good for a little manly card. Now I want to pop that up as well because it is kind of important, the same. No cinnamon bun. Maybe on Friday get one of those keto treats or a wonderful tea. Yes. But I, it's not a treat. I get those, those, um, I have a treat every day. It's not very good. It, I am like, I crave sugar like nobody's business. So I'm just placing this little circle down here. I am a sugaraholic. And so, even though I've kind of, I've cut back on my sugar, I don't have sugar unless it's, um, uh, this, well, we do an erythritol, um, xylitol, stevia mix, and um, it works, but I still crave it. So it's nice to have these little desserts that I can, you know, snack on. Where Kevin's kind of a salty snack kind of person, so he's found his quest for tortilla chips. And you know what? I was razzing pork rinds earlier, and uh, I, we actually found pork rinds. <laughs> the mother low tub of pork rinds at Costco. Oh my goodness. So I thought, oh my goodness, you're getting two buckets? Like, but these ones are actually decent. They taste all right. They don't have that fishy smell. They, these other ones that we had are just not for me, but these ones are pretty amazing. Uh, sorry, I'm not, uh, Hard to exercise as we get over the hill. It's hard to exercise. I started exercising when I was seven. This is how my weight has progressed, right? I knew I was big at seven and it has been lifelong. So yes, exercising, ridiculous. Those shirts were amazing. Is that the na sweet name? Oh, that's maybe why Tropical Oasis Sweet. Yes, thank you. And so, it's so hard when they, Tropical this, maybe tro Timeless Tropical. <laughs> that's why. Perfect. Thank you. Um, I made sure it's years ago. Me too. Cute card. I was craving sugar. I weaned off and did great. Then I had a treat with one, a little sugar. Yes. I, I totally agree. Then you're right back to um, craving it like crazy. I agree. So I had a little piece of that leftover, um, and so I just threw it on the inside of the card. And for the um, envelope, I'm not finding my words today. I just placed some of that same DSP on the flap, and I was thinking, let's do that little uh, those little palm trees on the front of the card. Why not? Okay, so I'm just going to place it. I guess I don't need to have all of it in the... Let's just kind of have it hanging off a little. Like so. Aren't those neat? Okay, very tropical. This could, like, could it not be like a retirement card? Head out, you know, thank you, birthday. I don't know. Just a simple masculine card, right? Uh, thanks for sharing, Julie. Awesome. I started gaining weight at puberty. Just uh, look just like my mom's grandmother, my cousin too. So I'm not all, it's genetic, absolutely. Love it. Gorgeous card. Thank you. So there we go, there's our first card using that kind of layout idea. Okay, 
here's our second card. Yeah, I have PCOS too, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which makes it pretty darn, darn near impossible to lose weight, which makes it an incredible struggle. So I think I have to, I have to cut back my calories by 500 more. If I, I have to cut back 500 more calories than the average person to lose weight. Oh goody. <laughs> That's why I'm just excited about this keto thing because it's after I'm actually losing some weight, which is next to near impossible. Okay, so you know, I love this B set, so I got it out again. And here we go. So I have the um, basic black layer for our card base. I have Whisper White as the next layer. Of course, I cut this out because you know, I, nobody's gonna see it. So I thought I would save some of some paper and I've got my basic black layer again using the tufted embossing folder. I figured that kind of kind of looked a little bit like um, you know bees, right? That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> hello there. Um, where did I see her? Eldana, hello. There you are all the way from Calgary. You frozen yet? <laughs> Ah, it's like Manitoba here today. Okay, so my largest circle is this one. And then my second largest circle, which is going to go on the gold, is this one with the black. Then I'm going with this one. And I'm just gonna use Whisper White for the smallest. Then I decided, you know the paper? Guess what? The framelit, or the die, cuts out that V shape in the paper. They think of everything, it's wonderful. So I didn't even have to fussy cut. <laughs> Hello, yes. Okay, so let's start assembling. Now I didn't get any ribbon for this. What, what ribbon should I use? Mm, maybe some. Ooh, I have a little bit of, I hope that's gonna clash too bad. Just use white. I think I'm gonna do the yellow. Let's do a pop of yellow. I just have a little left. Let's finish it off. Okay, so here's my layer. Whisper white. Going on to the basic black card base. And once again, this is the tufted embossing folder. Um, I'm going to use my tear and tape just to make sure it is stuck. Feel free to use your multi-purpose glue. <gasps> gold, gold ribbon. I don't even think I own gold ribbon, but yes, that would be a beautiful color to match, wouldn't it? There was the gold ribbon from Christmas time, but I cut it up and I'm giving it away as gifts for different things, so yes. All right, let's place this right in the center, like so. I like to place my largest circle first. I think I'm just gonna go with the snail that I'm gonna put lots on, just to make sure it sticks on that tufted embossing folder. Okay, which way do I want this here? Maybe. Maybe that fly going up and the flower going up. So you kind of just place it in the top left hand corner. And then I go to this one, which is the second smallest. Goodness, I'll get this eventually. And I'm just going to glue it down there. I love this paper. You know, especially why? Because it was free. Yay! Free, I love free was free because I spent $60 and a little more. <laughs> and so I got to pick some free things from the celebration catalog, as can you. All right, now here's the gold that I did the scallop on and I wanted to place this on here. But sometimes it is hard to glue things onto this paper, so. <laughs> Let me get my little circle punches, if I can find them. Here they are. I just 
keep them in my little case here. There was a white with gold. Oh, yes, there was. Yes, there was. I don't have that one though. Oh, that would have went perfectly, wouldn't it? Okay, so here's my little one inch punch, but if you have something larger or whatever, I it's, it's all usable. Nobody's gonna see it, right? So if you take out a little chunk and then glue this on, that way it's going to be sticky from that. Actually, it's gonna be popped up with dimensionals, isn't it? Okay. Let's get up for dimensionals. I feel absolutely scattered today. I don't know what's happening. Doo, doo, doo. Probably because I had to get up with the dogs twice in the middle of the night because my lovely husband thinks it's my job. Okay, I think I'm gonna place those up and down. Oh, I didn't use my thread, did I? Ah. No worries, no worries. I'm gonna get out my dental floss and shimmy my way. I think we could just go on the black layer. So shimmy this back and forth up a little bit so that we can get the glue up. That should be good. Okay, there, let's try this again. So I'm just gonna lay this over top of this layer and tuck those around the back. And Take it back down. <laughs> I should pull this out. There, nobody will know, right? Hello, Debbie. Nice, to, thanks for sharing. Nice to see you too. Okay, we fixed it. Phew. Okay, now we're gonna go to this layer. I don't know, I think the ribbon just adds a little something. So that's why I, I kind of really want it. Even though I keep forgetting it. Okay, so here is my little whisper white piece, the little circle that I'm gonna put the sentiment on. And from this stamp set is from the Honey Bee stamp set. There's that cute little thank you that I think will fit nicely on there. I think I'm just gonna use basic black. You could, of course. Okay, here's your options. I've got it out. Would you rather have the thank you in black memento or gold embossing powder? Which would you prefer? Let me know and I'll do, do what you think we should do. Thank you, Janelle. Nice to see you. So should I do it in gold? Or black. Hello Joyce, all the way from Kansas. Good morning. I hope you're having better weather than we are here in Alberta. <laughs> it's freezing cold. <laughs> Yellow ink. You could, yeah. Good morning, Kim. Oh dear. Hope you're not as cold as we are here. Yikes. It is cold. Okay, here we go. Gold embossing, gold embossing, black. Okay, gold. Okay, we've got lots of golds. Let's go with gold then. So I've got my verse mark. I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> black, gold. All right, now I'm not going to use my embossing, buddy. I'm going to just, I'm just going to risk it. Bad, bad, Mrs. Houston. Bad, Mrs. Houston. Okay, that. All right, so here we are. Oh 
dear. <laughs> I should have used the embossing, buddy. <laughs> it's only 11 here. We aren't. Everything is encased in ice, but it's beautiful. Yes, yes. It is a, a beautiful look. Okay. Well, the magic of paper, I'm flipping over and starting again. Let's get out the embossing, buddy. Oh, you know, I could save myself a lot of time if I just did things properly, right? Okay, here's my embossing, buddy. Let's try again. First mark. Boop. With a little thank ya. And once again, here we go. Still got some stuff that's stuck. Where's my little, here it is, my little paint brush. You can just go in with your paint brush and kind of get rid of some of those little specks that you don't want because whatever's there stays there after you melt it with the heat tool. Oh, sheesh, don't fall off. Who's, who decided to do this gold business anyway? <laughs> no, it looks very pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, get that out of the way. Cute. Now I want to put some dimensionals on the back to pop this layer up. You're only minus 11 there. Wow. That's awesome. Over with the wind chills minus 38 or something here, which is kind of very odd for here. Okay, so here's where I'm just going to place this. Okay, am I dead here? What's happening? Someone told me to use dryer sheets that have already gone through the dryer once or twice. Recycle! Not sure if I'd remember. <laughs> okay, am I frozen? Because on my screen I am frozen. Weird. Okay, well I'm just going to keep going. I'm putting this down here like so. And then remember that B that I cut out? I thought, ah, let's put it onto this layer. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals like so. Anyone else has picture frozen? Yes? Okay. Let me try. Get this. Am I frozen? Ah, it's still frozen. Okay. <laughs> so the corner works, but the okay. Very odd. Let me try to go. I'm just gonna turn this off. Now let's see. I'll go back in here. Remote camera mode. I hope they don't wreck it. Good. Good. Okay. I think we're good. That's very odd. I can't say I've ever had that happen before. Okay. Here we go. Whoops. This, this, this. No. This, this, this. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Everything moving now. Okay. So I'm just going to place this little B onto this layer. 
because why not? <laughs> and then remember these gold faceted gems? I thought, oh, let's add one of those on here just to add a little, maybe one or two. Add some sparkle there. See how I craft. If I would just make a decision, it wouldn't take me so long. <laughs> All right, so there's the outside with that layout idea. And for the inside of the card, I'm just, I've got a little strip of that same designer series paper that I put on the insert. Like so, sorry. And for the envelope, I had a little piece of DSP that I thought I would send across the bottom of the envelope. And on the back, why not add that little bee stamp? I love how it's one of those distinctive stamps. Like it's so crazy how they can make it um, some parts dark and some parts light. So there's our second idea using that layout. Okay, so now, so I don't keep you for hours and hours on end, I decided to make a couple cards um, ahead of time. Here is another batch of uh, designer series paper that is free. Um, it's a little wild for my liking, <laughs> just needless to say. Um, and here's how I changed it up. So normally I had cardstock on this layer with an, an embossed, but I decided why not just use designer series paper for that layer instead. I also always put the sentiment on this smaller layer, but what if you have a larger saying and you need to, you know, fit it on? So I decided, well, instead of putting the sentiment on this small layer, I was gonna put it on this layer. And there I embossed in gold as well. Um, so yeah, there's that kind of version. The colors all look pretty together. It's just a very busy card. Um, it's very artistic, isn't it? And so there's the inside. I just threw on a little piece of DSP there. And of course, for the envelope, once again, I just put a little strip along the bottom. All matchy matchy. So there's that idea. Then I thought, well, what if you don't have designer series paper at your house? It's okay. Look at this one. Oh, I did this one. So I did basic gray and whisper white. I ran it through the brick embossing folder and I decided to make all the circles white. But then how to, you know, kind of get a little excitement out of it. I decided to use all different kinds of blues and different sayings on each layer. So really you could put sayings on any of the layers, you know, just trying to show you how you can switch it up. So. This one came from the uh, Peaceful Moment stamp set. This is uh, Beautiful Friendship. This one, these two are from Itty Bitty Birthdays. And I used Pacific Point, Pretty Peacock, Balmy Blue, and Night of Maybe. So there we go. Well, that works, hey? kind of a neat idea for masculine. They don't, you know, need all fluff and fancy. <laughs> I don't think they would notice if it was fluff and fancy. <laughs> At least my husband wouldn't. So there you go. There's another kind of version that you could uh, make up. I did splatter some of the um, stamp and blends on it just to make it a little exciting. And there again, just stamp the happy birthday from Itty Bitty Birthdays on the inside because these ones didn't really say happy birthday. So I thought I would throw one on the inside. And then of course for the envelope, I just did this happy birthday again with the little splatters. So there you go. There's um, all the different cards that you can kind of create with this layout idea. Where's my last one, my tropical one. So which is your favorite? from here, which was your favorite version that you saw today. 
which one would you like to give a try if you had the chance to? <laughs> yes, I went outside my comfort zone. <laughs> Yes, pull out your embossing powders. It's fun. I tend to go in spurts. So, um, you know, if it's out, I use it. I use it quite a bit. Because then I know I have to, you know, put it away. So it just stays there and I might as well use it. So. <laughs> but if it's put away, I tend to forget too. Oh, great ideas. Thank you. Thank you. So, there you go. There's the layout. The, the last one you make before like I don't know anyways that's okay so the car one I kind of like the car one too I like the bees too I love the snowman just different different ways you can use it hey it just all has different effects and normally I'm a you know has to be an odd number person right but this is only four circles Outside the box, step across that line. <laughs> you love the tropical one, yes. The black, white and black, yes, it's basic. Bees are your favorites, yeah. Yeah, and it, hey, free, free paper. Love it. All right, well, ladies, it has been a slice. So if you have enjoyed. Okay. what I wanted. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could share it with your friends. You never know what your crafting friends, you know, they might like to see these videos and learn these ideas too. You could also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is The Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Um, there's also my, you could follow me on Pinterest where I put all these card pictures on for ideas and it's also The Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Uh, feel free to write me a review if you really enjoy these videos week to week on you can write that review on Facebook um, All the products of course today that I used are available for purchase um, And of course, it's the best time of the year with celebration Every time you purchase $60 worth of items you get to pick a free item from the celebration catalog And so once again like some of that paper get it for free. I love free um, if you live in Canada and you would love a complimentary catalog, I would love to send you one. Just contact me and I will get that in the mail for you. Also, if you would like information on upcoming classes and events, contact me. I'd love for you to join us. Um, there's ladies from all over the globe that come to uh, do crafting with us, which I absolutely love. If you haven't had a chance yet, go to my Mail It Out Monday challenge, which is also in my Facebook. Pick a number between one and 10, any your favorite lucky number. And if your number is chosen, I'm gonna send you a card in the mail. Easy as that, right? And I've got a special tweak on it this week. So if your birthday is in, July, in Jan, January, um, you get to choose two numbers. So head on over there after I'm done. Also, thanks for watching today. Um, it's always my pleasure to have you join me every Monday and every Wednesday. Um, you definitely are the highlight of my week and like what, what was kind of said earlier that us uh, creative ladies, we kind of are have a, a bond and so um, we all kind of get each other's quirks. We all have aren't perfect, we aren't all aren't polished and Maybe you are. I shouldn't say we all are, but we all have our things that we struggle with and whatnot. And it's just a nice place to get together and be ourselves. And that's good enough, right? So, boy, it's a rough day today. <laughs> okay, so I hope I see you again on Wednesday night for Four Cards and Friends, where I'm going to show a certain product and make it in four different ways to show its versatility. All right, ladies, you're the best. Have a great day.